All I know is win. All I know is win. It has been a wild 10 years in the National Ballers Association. We don't have time for everything, but let's take a look at the NBA's top moments of the decade. In 2010, Cleveland's homegrown phenom entered free agency after seven years with the Cavaliers. The options? Several. The decision? In this form, I'm going to take my talents to South Beach and um, join the Miami Heat. Of course, Cavs fans took it well. It was just terrible. I was shocked. Felt betrayed. It broke the city's heart. Despite all of the hate, the King had lofty goals for his newly minted super team, featuring himself, D. Wade, and Chris Bosh. Not two, not three, not four, not five. Derek Martell Rose, the young Chicago Bull, heading into his third season, sat down on media day and asked a seemingly insane question. Why can't I be the MVP of the league? Well, it seemed insane until D. Rose became the youngest MVP in the history of the NBA. He led his team to its best record since the GOAT himself suited up in a Bulls jersey, and he was only the fifth player in NBA history to rack up 2,000 points, 600 assists, and 300 rebounds in a season. Afterwards, well, this time he was speechless. I don't know what to say, man. Hard work pays off. The big three did not do it all alone in Miami. The Heat's second consecutive championship may not have happened if it weren't for the saving hands of Jesus, Shuttlesworth. James catches, puts up a three, won't go, rebound Bosch. I say get to that three-point line. Somehow, some way, get there. Three out and a three for the quarter. That shot, I've practiced thousands and thousands of times. When I took that shot, it was like all those thousands of shots that, I, that I've taken in my career, in my life. Bang! Allen from downtown! Tie game! We'll go to overtime! You know, people will say that one shot was the greatest shot, obviously, in my career ever. Mm -hmm. And arguably, some will say uh, one of the best in NBA history because of the ramifications behind it. After four years with the Heat and a move that proves LBJ is a real one and Cavs fans ain't about that life, the King decided to return to his roots, hoping to bring championships to a city that had been parched for 52 years. It is confirmed. Uh, Sports Illustrated posting a story in LeBron James' voice, the last words of the piece, I'm coming home. LeBron James is going back to Cleveland. With that, all was forgiven in the land, and the love for LeBron was literally resurrected from the ashes. LeBron's coming back. I was literally sque screaming like a little kid. I love you, LeBron! Thank God, finally won for us. No love lost. Welcome home, LeBron. We love you. It had been 40 years since the Golden State Warriors clinched an NBA title. In 2015, they ended the drought. The championship is back in the bay. The Golden State Warriors are the 2015 NBA champions. Everybody say, hey, they can't do it. They're a jump shooting team. They can't do it. They're too small. They can't do it. And that makes it even sweeter. The Splash Brothers earn their nickname because they get buckets. One half of the duo, Clay Thompson, may not garner as much attention, but in 2015, he did something that absolutely nobody else has done before. Clay Thompson, and again, his three, his three. 37 in a quarter. This is a moment of history here. Thompson scored 37 of his 52 points in that one quarter. That means that for 12 minutes, Thompson averaged 3.0833 points per minute. Your boy was feeling it. Just the zone I was in, never shot like that. And um, they, uh, it was crazy. I don't really know what happened. 2016 marked the farewell tour for a legend, and it was punctuated by a legendary performance. Bryant for three. Got him! Oh! Oh! Yes. Bryant! There it is! A 50-point game! On the move, with the jumper. He oh, got it! Five! 60. What a finale for Kobe Bryant! A 37-year-old Kobe Bryant became the oldest player to put up 60 or more points in a game. It was the final time Mamba suited up after 20 years, five championships, 18 All-Star appearances, and an MVP. I mean, you can't, you can't write something better than this. What can I say? Mamba out. After a championship win that some critics discredited, the Golden State Warriors were determined to silence the doubters in 2016. 
The greatest regular season in NBA history now belongs to the 2016 Golden State Warriors. The Dubs started the season with an NBA record 24 game win streak. They were the first team in the history of the NBA to go an entire season without back to back losses and finish the season 73 and 9, the best ever in the history of the NBA. The Warriors may have eclipsed Jordan's 72 win Bulls, but then. Iguodala to Curry, back to Iguodala, up for the layup. Oh, blocked by James. LeBron James with the rejection. Oh, my goodness. Braun already had two titles with the Heat, but this one in his home state with the team that drafted him after 52 years clearly meant more. Cleveland, this is for you. LeBron laid the foundation in 2010. If you're not winning rings, join a team that'll get you some. Kevin Durant followed suit, leaving OKC during free agency and taking his talents to the Golden State. It seems like one of the weakest moves I've ever seen by a superstar. I lost respect for him. People didn't like it. That's cool. He went on to win back-to-back -back championships and finals MVPs with the Dubs. In late April of 2017, Celtics point guard Isaiah Thomas's younger sister was killed at the scene of a car accident at the age of 22. Just four days after attending her funeral, Thomas dropped 53 points to help the Celtics top the Wizards in game two of the Eastern Conference Finals. Thomas crosses, foul called! Isaiah Thomas has cracked 50. It was the second most points for a Celtics player in postseason history, and it happened on what would have been his sister's 23rd birthday. When I'm in this arena, I can, I can lock in, and, and I know everything I do is for her. Noted philosopher Aubrey Graham once rapped, shots that I took wet like I'm book. Drake undoubtedly was referring to this specific Devin Booker performance. For three. 59, 64 crowd. points. 70 points for Devin Booker. The kid put up 70 points against the Celtics in the Garden, becoming the sixth player in NBA history to score 70 and the youngest of the bunch. During the 2017 season, Russell Westbrook absolutely balled out. Brody was the first player in 55 years to average a triple-double for the whole season, and his 42 triple-doubles were the most ever in a season. While it was a remarkable feat, some people questioned whether the rightful player won the award. The analytics community dismissed the value of a triple-double compared with efficiency master James Harden. But one year later, James Harden proved himself most valuable in the league by becoming the fourth player in NBA history to average at least 30 points per game and help lead his team to 65 wins. Oh, with a cold three. The final standout NBA moment from this decade is, of course, freshest in our minds. It's off to Leonard, defended by Simmons. Game 7 Eastern Conference Semifinals. Is this the dagger? Kawhi Leonard's shot took one bounce, two, three, four. It was the first game-winning buzzer beater in a game seven in NBA playoff history. The Raptors would eventually go on to win the NBA Finals, and Kawhi would win Finals MVP. Thanks for watching. You can check out all of the rest of our end of the decade content here on our YouTube channel. For more news and highlights, download the ESPN app. And for premium content and streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. Oh. Here they do. It goes. It finds the button. Time he sees an opening, and boy, did he step on the gas. Gets Wiggins out of position, gets the foul, and want to make sure uh, you don't get it. He likes to slash. So keep him out of the paint as much as you can. AD right on the block. There's that spin move, and it's good for two. He putting it on display here in quarter number one. Nice job of using his left hand. Oh, a rim run by the big fella. And anytime you run the floor, he, uh, LeBron will find you and Anthony Davis. Both teams shooting exactly the same from the field, six out of nine. Anthony Davis spins the other way, and he throws it down the two-hand flush. What a move. By Anthony Davis. Boy, what a work. They're doing inside. Dunks, he's got 64 now on the year. Rebound to McGee, quickly to LeBron. Long lead, trying to find Anthony. He's there to score again. Unreal. Leading the way as he has got the Lakers up by four. Over, suffering through a very poor shooting start to his rookie year.
Bounce now to A.B. Little fake. He's in the lane. He'll fall back and score. Nothing but net by Coos. They deny at the rim. Now Alex to the street. Anthony Davis. Coos aren't tired. Yeah, they stick with those rotations and uh, at times don't play the game. Here is the left-handed little running hook by Anthony Davis. Rose, and their lead is five. And nine out of 11. Lob to Davis from LeBron. LeBron and A.D. with the communications just reading what each other is doing for Andrew Wiggins. Caruso with some speed. Oh, good pass! What a pass! Finding Davis coming down the middle right to the rim. We're coming up on a minute to play. Caruso straight away. Next door, AD top once, tries, gets it, scores it! Staying with it! Again, the Lakers go over 70 in the first half for the second game in a row. They leave it for AD. AD, one, two, shoot, scores! So right there, he knocks him down, 76-68, at least one of them. Makes one of the free throws. AD in the lane, soft touch. Look at that touch. Soft touch. And they did well. And it was that defeat. LeBron, four minutes into the quarter. Bounced out of AD, and he goes left hand off the window. He's got 32 points. Now he's got to look to shoot. And that's what he's really Four short. with three. That's a tough shot over Jordan Bell. Nothing tough for him. Go to number three. This guy is just too good. I tell you, fall back, baby. 11-point game. Yeah, Towns is one for six from downtown. Caruso, no, but the clean. Anthony Davis working in deep to score. Pretty unstoppable when he gets in that deep. Quick foot out of Anthony Davis. A.B. through the legs, the dribble, the fall back is pure and smooth. And two more for Davis. Anthony Davis, boy, I, you know, I, I would say it's a tough shot, but no shot is tough for that guy. He's unbelievable. He, there's the nickel. 50. Just by the way, 58 paint points. Anthony Davis, there's that little jumper. It's a season high, and he keeps adding to it.